And here we've made it to the final pop review of October 2018. This is the Pop Movies, number five, Beetlejuice. This is Comic Game TV. Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Today we're taking a look at the pop movies Beetlejuice number 5, Beetlejuice Vinyl Figure. Now, as you can see, there's at least one difference between the package and the figure himself. And that's the eyes. On the package, his eyes are spiral color whereas the doll itself solid black uh, I'm not sure if that's a chase figure or not uh, but I think it would have been really cool if they would have done all of them the same uh, it would have looked really cool so anyway let's go ahead and take a look at the box So anyway, very spooky looking box. You got the purple spiral type vortex looking thing with some bats in the background. Very nice. Uh, collect the entire line of pop movies, super stylized vinyl figures. They'll dazzle you. Let's go ahead and open the box and take a look at Beetlejuice. Originally, I had planned on reviewing Robocop today. Uh, however, I went ahead and put him on a different video earlier in the month because I just found Beetlejuice at Mega Replay. Uh, I figured Beetlejuice was more fitting for the day before Halloween than Robocop. So here we have the ghost with the most himself, Michael Keaton. Got the slime, fungus, whatever you want to call it, around his hairline and on his face there. Uh, almost kind of looks they, like they used a Joker sculpt for the head. A little bit. The, the mouth is raised off the face, which is... Kind of weird. I'm not sure why they didn't just paint it on, but the the mouth, the teeth are raised. Uh, very weird. Um, this is one pop where the paint blading doesn't really matter too much. Uh, however, when you get into like here, where the fate the paint on the face bleeds up into the hair. That's a little weird, but overall not bad. Uh, they could have made this the pinstripes on a suit uh, a little bit darker and colored in the tie all the way. Uh, it's not completely painted. Uh, there is some paint wear on the fingers, and I'm not sure why they didn't paint the feet all the way. Uh, but anyway, not a bad figure. There's some dirt or something on his chin that I can't really clean off. Uh, <clears throat> some paint bleeding on the back here. And the stripes don't really go all the way down to the seam of the 
jacket or pants either. Uh, which is... Eh. Uh, his head does spin all the way around. I remember my brother and I used to... Uh, we got the majority of the figures from the Beetlejuice toy line when they came out. Very cool toy line. My favorite would have had to have been the one, the carousel head Beetlejuice. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the carousel head Beetlejuice, he wore a red suit or maroon colored suit and uh, he had kind of like a carousel coming out of the top of his head with bats and different uh, sandworms and stuff like that hanging around it. Pretty cool figure. Overall, I'm not super pleased with this pop. Uh, they could have done it a lot better job, but it is still a pretty cool pop nonetheless. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. I'm Shannon for Come Again the TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Have a happy and safe Halloween tomorrow, everyone. And we'll see you again for another pop review in the month of November. Take care. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there. And also go ahead and check out one of these two playlists here that goes along with the video you just watched. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, my friends.